Jesus Christ. Welcome to our show, Empowerment Through the Holy Spirit. With you, I'm your host, Gina Moholan. We will be back after these short messages. Take a moment, feel the rhythm of life. It keeps beating. What if you took just a few seconds of every day to help someone else? Every minute. It's yours and mine, mine, mine. It's amazing how the smallest things can have the greatest impact. Make a difference. Pay it forward. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Are you always on the go? Tired of missing your favorite games while they're actually being played? Watch your games and sporting events live with Central TV and Internet's incredible My TV. Simply log on to www.mitv.bz to get easy access to 25 channels, no matter where you are. With Central TV and Internet's My TV, you're always in the game. Welcome back again. Thank you for allowing us to be into your home today. Today we want to talk to you about empowerment through the Holy Spirit. But before we do that, allow me to share with you a little bit of who I am, where I come from, and what I do. My name, official name by birth, Elvira Virginia Grant. I am married to my husband, Jeff Moholland, and I have four wonderful children. I have three boys and one girl. I live in San Ignacio. I grew up all my years, most of my life, I grew up in Orange Walk. I studied in uh, Orange Walk Technical High School, and I have an associate's degree in business administration through Corozal Junior College. It's been about five years that I moved to San Ignacio. Uh, I, have, I had three children at the time when I left Orange Walk and I moved to San Ignacio for a change, looking for something that I did not have or looking for something, hope, hoping that things would change in, in my life. You know, I used to drink, I used to party, I used to go out, you name it. Like we're Creole and we would always say, you name it, I've done it. You know, uh, many times in, in, in life we are out there searching and we look at the wrong people, we look at the wrong things on how we want our lives to be because we, we look at all these celebrities, we look at all these people out there and we wonder, I want a piece of that. But when we really do it and, and we see what it has, it's not what we're truly looking for. When I moved to San Ignacio five years ago, I met my husband, Jeff. We are married now for five years, five wonderful years. Of course, not everything is, is all beautiful, but I used to, my husband doesn't drink, doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't go anywhere. And I used to be the one who party, who, who wants to be everywhere. And I came to realize at a certain point in, in early in our marriage, we were just married for about a month when I found out I was pregnant with, with my daughter, baby Jada, Jada Sophia. So during this time, I had to do drastic changes. You know, you have delicate pregnancies, and, and all your pregnancies are different. But Jada was, was so different to the extent that this was what brought me to Christ. I recall there was this lady who used to pass around my house every day. And she used to always say, you know what, you need a little bit of Jesus. You need a little bit of guys, I know what that. Drink, give me the rum, give me the belly king. And um, when, I, when I found out I was pregnant, that, that was when I sat down and I said, yes, I need Jesus. I need something that belly king, nor my friends out there wasn't giving me. I needed that peace 
that assurance that everything was going to be okay. And this lady left me with this verse in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. It says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeing whom he may devour. Oh, when I, said, when I saw that verse and I, and I kept reading it, you know, she said, read it, study it, man. And that verse really called me because I said, if, if I'm going to have an ex-baby, and I'm drunk. That's not good. And from that day on, I said, I went into my room and I prayed. I closed my eyes and I said, Lord. I said, God, if you make this one work for me, I give you my life. You know, and, and I said, it's like, I'm serious. If you make this pull through, I give you my life. And I recall that as the pregnancy, um, Time went by and time went by, you know, I had complications and the doctors, then just never the help. So I said, well, who will help me? You know, and I knew that God made all these things happen for a reason, for a purpose, to bring me closer to him. And I recall that when my, my daughter was born and I look at her and, and I saw her and it was just a whole complete life change for me. And I said, we, we always keep praying for changes. We always keep praying for something to happen. And we, we don't realize that we have it right there. You know, In my case, it was my daughter. She was, it wasn't nobody else who needed to change. It was me. It was me who needed to, to change. And as I become more involved and accepting my daughter into, into our life and raising her and seeing her grow. It was just amazing to know how when we change and when we see things through different eyes, through the eyes of Jesus Christ, how beautiful it is. So that's how my changes started in my life to become a Christian. That's how I got to know Jesus Christ as my personal savior because he came true for me. He has given me a wonderful family, a wonderful husband. And my children, they are so wonderful. And that's the way I see them now through the eyes of Jesus Christ. My grandmother is a woman of God. She will be 90 years old. No sickness, no nothing. What a blessing. I want to be like her. I want to be like my grandmother. We'll be right back after these short messages. I will come back and we'll share with you more in details about the empowerment through the Holy Spirit. Take a moment, feel the rhythm of life. It keeps beating. What if you took just a few seconds of every day to help someone else? Every minute. It's yours and mine, mine, mine. It's amazing how the smallest things can have the greatest impact. Make a difference. Pay it forward. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Are you always on the go? Tired of missing your favorite games while they're actually being played? Watch your games and sporting events live with Central TV and Internet's incredible My TV. Simply log on to www.mitv.bz to get easy access to 25 channels, no matter where you are. With Central TV and Internet's My TV, you're always in the game. Welcome back. Now let's go to what empowerment through the Holy Spirit means. Because every time we hear spirit, oh, we run, we want to hide. Because we say, oh, spirit, that's a bad thing. But it's not. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. How are we being empowered through the Holy Spirit? We are empowered through the Holy Spirit when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. We are empowered through the Holy Spirit when we are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, when we are being baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Because remember, we are not only a Christian 
when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, we need to complete and fulfill what is the Great Commission. We are to go out and baptize people in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And that's one thing we have to do. We should do. So when we are at home and we come to know Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, we need to do what's the next step is to be baptized. When we are baptized, oh, it's, it's a whole different change in our life. Our life is just this newness, this everything that is happening. We want to know more. We get a hunger for God's word. We are thirsty for God's word. We just want to know more. We want to know who the Holy Spirit is, where he come from. We want to know more about God. We want to mo know more about Jesus. We just want to know more about everything. And sometimes we feel like we just know it. We just feel this, this great love, this great everything on us, and we wonder what is happening. How we are empowered through the Holy Spirit. We are empowered through the Holy Spirit by the fruit of the Holy Spirit, by the gift that the Holy Spirit gives us. Remember, we cannot buy this, the, the, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We cannot go to the market and say, hey, give me a fruit of love, give me a fruit of kindness, or give me a fruit of, of, of joy, you know? We, we cannot do that. We cannot go to the market and buy these fruit of the Holy Spirit. Much less on Christmas time or birthdays, we cannot go to the store and buy a gift of the Holy Spirit and give it to someone and say, here you are, blessed with the gift of healing, go and heal people. We cannot do that. It's, it's not for us to choose who get the gift, who get the fruits of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit upon our baptismal, upon accepting Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, the Holy Spirit dwells inside of us. The Holy Spirit lives inside of us. And he's the one who guides us. He's the one who shows us. He's the one who Allow us to remember scripture. He is the one who uses us to bring out all these energy to other believers, to other non-believers. And that they may make a change to want to come to know Christ. That they want to make a change and that they want to have part of what we have. This all excitement, love, joy, peace. We find all the fruit of the Holy Spirit in Galatians 5.22. And there's a number, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. When we display love beyond your imagination, when we display, display kindness to people, oh my, it's just such a beautiful feeling. And when people see us with all that, that feeling, they want to know, where did you get that from? Where did you... Learn to love in that way. Where did you learn to have patience like that? You know, we would always say, you go get patient, you are patient, go to hospital. You are get patient there. But when we have the Holy Spirit in us and we are being obedient above all, obedient to the Holy Spirit, he works in our lives in an amazing way. And the Holy Spirit will convict us when we are not doing things of the Lord, the Holy Spirit will convict us when we are doing things against the will of God. Brothers and sisters, we are to know that this powerful tool that our Father from heaven has sent to us, the gift and the fruit of the Holy Spirit, it's amazing. It's amazing what we can do. It's amazing the transformation that can happen in your life, in my life. And it's amazing how we, by using and allowing the Holy Spirit to guide us, it's amazing how the fruit and the gift of the Holy Spirit can change our lives. We'll be back after these short messages. Take a moment, feel the rhythm of life. Keeps beating. What if you took just a few seconds of every day to help someone else? 
minute It's yours and mine, mine, mine It's amazing how the smallest things can have the greatest impact Make a difference, pay it forward A message from the Foundation for a Better Life Are you always on the go? Tired of missing your favorite games while they're actually being played? Watch your games and sporting events live with Central TV and Internet's incredible My TV. Simply log on to www.mitv.bz to get easy access to 25 channels, no matter where you are. With Central TV and Internet's My TV, you're always in the game. Welcome back to Empowerment Through the Holy Spirit. In case you just tune in to us, we are talking about empowerment through the Holy Spirit. It's a new program coming up where we're inviting you to join us, to share with us your experience of how the Holy Spirit has changed your life. Many of us cannot display any of the fruit of the Holy Spirit because we don't know it. We don't even know the Holy Spirit. We don't even know what we can do, what we are capable to do for God. But I'm asking you today, my brothers and sisters, let's be obedient. Open your heart and your mind to allow the Holy Spirit to just work and to move in our lives. Open your mind to receive this tool, to receive the Holy Spirit in your life. Open your mind to want to do God's will on earth. And it's easy. It's very easy. Once we just allow, be obedient, and we stay in the word of God, that is how we can be empowered through the Holy Spirit. We can display the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to work in us and to show to our enemies, to our brothers and sisters, this fruit. Allow the Holy Spirit to teach us and to equip us to be good stewards of God's resources in our life. Allow the Holy Spirit to make that transformation that we need in our lives. We are, we are empowered through the Holy Spirit, through the gifts and through the fruits. We are called to do God's work. And we are called and we are being equipped through the Holy Spirit. He helps us to accomplish the end result for God's work. We need to be obedient. We should be obedient. In closing, I want to thank you for allowing us to be in your space. I want to thank you for having an open mind and an open heart to receive the Holy Spirit in your life. We want to give God thanks. We glorify his name and we praise him for making this show a success. I pray that he will continue to work in our lives and to draw us closer to him. I pray that if you're at home and you want to make that change, I pray that the Lord grants you and gives you peace and strength to make that stand for him. No matter what you're going through, no matter what the situation is, he will do it again. I pray that the Lord continue to bless us. And I pray also that the Lord would continue to guide us for his honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray, and I thank you. Amen. And he'll do it again.